Loading and preparation of DC bead must be carried out using strict aseptic technique under controlled conditions. Prior to commencing the loading procedure, ensure that you have the necessary equipment ready and the correct number of vials of DC bead and Irino tea can for the dose required. Take the flip cap of each of the DC bead vials being used but do not remove the metal around the bung. Attach an 18 gauge needle or equivalent to a 20 to 30 milliliter syringe. Pierce the DC bead vial with an air vent needle or equivalent. Use the syringe to extract the entire contents of the DC bead vial. Repeat with the second DC bead vial if required. Replace the 18 gauge needle with a 5 micron filter needle or equivalent. Expel excess solution to leave the beads and a minimal amount of packing solution in the syringe. Take the flip cap of each of the required vials of Irinotecan. Draw up the required dose of Irinotecan into the syringe containing the DC bead. Store the syringes at between 2 and 8 degrees Celsius for the 2 hours loading time. Gently agitate the mixture occasionally during the loading time. Please note that after the required loading time the solution in the syringe may retain some coloration. This is to be expected. It is not an indication that the DC bead has failed to load. When loading time is complete, attach a 5 micron filter needle or equivalent to the syringe and expel the excess liquid. To prepare the loaded DC bead for injection, draw up 5 millilitres of water for injection, not sodium chloride, and between 5 and 10 millilitres of non-ionic contrast medium for each millilitre of DC bead into the syringe. This will suspend the DC bead and visualise its injection. Once mixed with the non-ionic contrast and water for injection, the loaded DC bead is ready to be injected by the interventional radiologist and should be used immediately. Immediately prior to use, each syringe containing loaded DC bead mixed with water for injection and non-ionic contrast should be gently agitated to create a stable suspension for injection. It is recommended that the loaded DC bead mixed with water for injection and contrast should be injected at a rate of 1 milliliter per minute in order to ensure a smooth delivery and minimize the risk of catheter blockage.